Today, I'm starting with a 10 cent fingerboard and working my way all the way up to a $100 fingerboard. This fingerboard is a 10 cent fingerboard that I bought from a dollar store. This board is so cheap, even the trucks are made out of plastic. They don't even have nuts and they just have a bolt that goes right through the truck. Look at how flexible this board is. This thing just feels so bad. Shake test. Pop test. So this is the 10 cent fingerboard. So now let's try a $4 fingerboard. Going from 10 cents to $4, there is a big improvement. First off, we now have metal trucks, more grippy grip tape, a stronger board, and some wheels that actually spin. This is just a standard tech deck, but without the rubber bushings. There is a pretty big difference from the 10 cent board and the $4 board. But how will the $4 board compare to an $8 board? So this board is pretty much the big brother of this one. The main difference is the $8 board has rubber bushings, wider trucks, a wider board, and better grip tape. This board is 29 millimeters wide and this one is 32. So far, I've used the 10 cent board, the $4 board, and the $8 board. But now introducing the $12 fingerboard. This is a Tech Deck Performance Series board, and it's pretty similar to this one, but with a few changes. This board was made out of plastic, but this board is actually made out of wood. The wheels on this board are also made out of some sort of rubber material, making them a little more grippy. The grip tape on the standard Tech Deck is sandpaper, whereas the grip tape on this is foam. This foam grip tape definitely has quite a bit of a different feel. Some say it's more grippy, some say it's less grippy, but I would say it's pretty similar to the sandpaper grip tape. So this fingerboard isn't way better than this one, but it's definitely an upgrade. But how will the $12 fingerboard compare to the $30 fingerboard? So we are switching from the tech deck side of fingerboards over to the professional side of fingerboards. Even though this board is about $30, you are able to find similar boards with pretty much the same parts for a little bit less. The trucks are 34 millimeters wide. The wheels actually have bearings inside, which makes them spin a lot longer. This has much higher quality foam grip tape. The board has a far better shape overall, and it just rides so much better. So the difference between the $12 board and the $30 board are pretty big, but maybe not quite as big as the $100 fingerboard. This isn't even the most expensive fingerboard you can buy. They make fingerboard decks that are almost $100 just on their own. If there's somebody watching this video and you don't believe that this fingerboard is $100, I've linked all the parts in the description down below. This fingerboard is so solid.
So from the 10 cents fingerboard up to the $100 fingerboard is quite the difference. It's not to say you can't fingerboard with the 10 cent fingerboard, but it's gonna be way more challenging. I thought I would make this video just to show you guys the different levels of fingerboards. Leave a comment down below what type of fingerboard you have. Also, the day that I'm filming this video, we just hit 70,000 subscribers, which is just mind blowing. That is it for this video, everyone. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember posting two fingerboard videos a week. So if you're unsubscribed and you like what you see, the subscribe button is right down below. That is it for this video everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.